Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Just Settle. I'm playing Dark Souls 3 The Weapon Playtest. Last episode we did, uh... We did some part of the Cthulhu Deep, we defeated the... Uh, the Crystal Sage, there we go. And in this episode we're just gonna go and probably clear out the rest of the Cthulhu Deep. As we usually do. <laughs> Why am I even trying to explain what I'm gonna do in this episode? <laughs> when all these playtests are identical in the way that I go through the game. Well, almost identical. That's the wrong door. I also keep running into the wrong door. There's nothing else, right, that I need to care about? No. Not for now. They're not be gone for long. What is a master without his people? Gotta love that boy. That dear sweet boy. Of which I don't know anything about, because fuck more. <laughs> Well, saying fuck lore might be a little bit, uh, a little bit too much, but... Ah, crap. I pressed the roll button, but it wasn't good enough. Fuck you and your stupid shit up there. If that guy didn't shoot me, I wouldn't have died. I would not have died if that piece of crap didn't shoot me. Let me go and do something for a moment. There we go. This way I'm not... Like I had some... Hmm. My headphone cable was intermixing with my controller cable. And they were having very a very interesting time together. Why am I dying so much to stuff that I don't die to normally? What is wrong with me? Well, that was just bad luck, really. The first one I should have I should have known that he was gonna try to do a swipe or a sweep or whatever. Kind of shit in the net. Also, wonder why this guy is even attacking. Like, what's the fucking point? What are you trying to protect? There we go. Touch that, which means that I can touch the arrow. Which means I can run in here, and there we go. <laughs> and somebody died. Do I need to kill the thralls? Yeah, I kind of do. If I don't kill the thralls, they're gonna annoy me later on. There we go. Get down here, buddy. Go and get down here. And you're gonna climb upwards. I'm gonna one-shot you because the claymore is pretty freaking good for the amount of stamina it uses and the amount of damage it does. This early in the game. Hello! That was... That attack hit me on the last possible moment that it could have hit me. <laughs> Please don't die again. That would be such an inconvenience. Let's also not forget that I have, like, no health. Ah! How about that, bitch? There we go, we're gonna kill this dude. You're done. Watch his face is gonna wake up again, but he's gonna notice that nobody's there. Actually, no, he will smash first, and then he will notice that there's nobody's there. Let's go and kill this mimic. In the hope that I might be able to get myself a tang. 420. What is the damage difference between 1 and 2 handing? 258. Uh. 258 and 285. There is a quite a sizable difference. Okay. That's good to know then. Means that I should probably two end my weapon during boss battles. Or just when I feel like it, really. Like against this guy. Who's going to do a shield bash? No? Okay. Then it shall be a stab in the Baccarinos. Oh. Well then, that buff was useless. You wasted your level 1 spell slot. <laughs> I'm sorry, you wasted your level 3 spell slot. That's a lot more devastating than level 1. At least that's what I think. I haven't, I haven't played D&D yet. <laughs> but I do know some stuff about it. Because I've been watching people play it. Oh yeah, right. Item. Aldrich's Sapphire. Meh. Don't care about that. 
Aldrich's, Aldrich's Ruby could be a little bit more useful, I think. And, but then, actually, in the end, they're both useless. Well, not useless. They're both not that amazing because they don't, they don't uh, increase. I'm sorry, they don't refill your stuff. You know, like your HP or your uh, FP for a lot. Kind of useless. Uh, I guess I'm going to take care of the giant first. Go and take care of the giant, then go to the thrall. Then go and open another shortcut. And, uh... We win. I'm thinking about needing patches or not, but I kind of do. Kind of do need the bugger. Because of the entire, uh... The entire rusted coin situation. Well, hmm. I might come to regret what I'm going to be doing, but I'm going to try to kill Patches. Which I've never done before. I want to see if you can actually get Ashes from him or not. You know what, why don't I look that up? Before I, uh... Before I go and screw myself over. Well, it's not particularly screwing myself over, but I wouldn't be able to get, like, the black blitter stuff and some other shenanigans. I'll just go and kill him in the Zeekmire form. So that I can just uh, run over the bridge and not have to deal with going up the rafters. Don't need to uh, tune any spells, so I don't need the deep ring. Aside from that, there's nothing up there, really. And there's nothing that I should care about. Also, how are you not encumbered in the freaking sludge? Oh wait, that's because you're an enemy and I'm a player. And players need to suffer. And enemies just get the bonuses. Except for getting killed by me every single time. Oh well. They must have gotten used to it at this point. All of the magical different ways that I can kill somebody. <laughs> Yay. Open the gates. Beep, 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 beep. I do have a lot of souls right now. Allow me to go and spend my souls. And while this is doing its thing, I'm gonna go and look up to see if I can get ashes from patches. I don't need to see this anymore. Though. Patches, unbreakable patches. Patches is ashes. Well, I guess we'll see what happens when I kill it. <laughs> the item exists in any case, so I'm pretty dang sure that I'm gonna get it when I kill him. Well, <laughs> when I fucking I kill him. <laughs> okay. Um. I don't need- wait, what am I doing? I don't need that. I need to go and level up this. Now, before we continue, though, there is yet another thing that I figured out off-camera while I was watching somebody else play this game. So there's one feature which I haven't really touched upon in this entire game, I would say. Just one thing that I just don't really care much for, I suppose. Never really done a lot, a lot of stuff with, because I don't need anything from it. And those are the crows. And apparently... Apparently... I know that you can drop a couple of things in here. Uh, let me go and leave one of these. No, that's no thing. Okay. Because I know that they really like armor bones. Then I get call over and the iron blaze, uh, the iron bracelets, the iron bla bracelets. They also like round things like sea grow, which gives you the armor of the sun. Uh, ember. Rat, 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 rat. Uh, repair powder. Semi round. I thought that they liked round things. Well, I at least know that I like fire bombs. That's a pump bomb. Now I get a large sight, my shard. 
And then I can leave one of these boys. And I get a type my chunk. I think you only get this once though. Chunk pie? <laughs> you know what, while I'm here, I might want to test this out again because it's been so long since I've done any of this. And I'm very interested to see if I can get something out of these things. Like what I could get out of some of these things. Let's go and leave a jewel charm. Nope. They don't like it. It's so weird actually what they like. Well, it's weird figuring it out. Prism stone. Yep. Pum -pum. Twinkling titanite. Now if I drop another one of those... Enough that. Okay, yep. They only they only accept certain things once. That is what I was wondering. Because otherwise, I sh I, sh I could have grinded Titanite a lot better than what I have done before. But no. That is not the case. Alright then. But the thing is, I do have myself uh, two pieces of Lark Titanite right now. Wait. The weapon that I have is already upgraded... With the large titanite, right? Beast ahead. I agree, man. Oh, yeah. Well, it was interesting to show off in any case. If anything. Or at least I thought it was interesting because I haven't shown enough quite yet. Alright. Let us venture forth. In the cathedral of the deep. I should also definitely look up where I can find the... I Actually, you know what? I'm just going to look up what you can get from the crows. Guess, well, I know a couple of things, but I want to see all of them, actually. Just so I have it in my head. Like, if I miss a certain item or whatever, I can just go to the crows and... Give them set item. And don't spend the 20k souls to get... <laughs> to get there easier, mayhaps. Without having to do the skip. Let's go and equip my fire bombs. So I can kill these slimes a little bit easier. Once they've grouped up a little bit, of course. And a roll. Gotta love rolling. Rolling. Rolling on a free ride. Rolling. Rolling. Rolling on a free ride. Right, right, right. Well, that works for me. Now, just let me go and help for a moment. Also, how are you alive after a freaking fire went to your face? You're a man. You are literally a maggot man. There we go. Dodge these things, because otherwise I'm gonna die. I will say this is my this, this is a part that I really don't like. Because <laughs> I have to deal with the giant and the slimes. One or the other I can deal with, but both of them at the same time is a little bit annoying. But that is how Dark Souls works, most of the time. If you run into like double encounters, they're almost always gonna suck. Your little shit and your stupid feet. There we go. Let's go and kill the remainders. I should definitely buy more firebombs. Which I will promptly forget about in the next episode. Getting myself another piece of large titanite from... Uh, from Le Giant. After this episode, I'm also going to go and eat some. Because I need it. Well, I could use it in any case. If anything, I could definitely make use of it, yes. Quite. Right. Let me just go and kill some people. Oh, you're not dead. Well, it kind of me surprised. And here we have Big Night Boy. Let me go and... Nope, okay. Hello, friend. Hello, fish friend. Right in the ass. Right in there. Take this, furball. I love seeing the lake on this. 
I will forever love it. Don't give a fuck what anybody says. There we go. And in the arse. Say goodbye to those beautiful butt cheeks. That's going. I would say kill these guys, but they just survived. But they survived my one powerful. My most powerful attack. <laughs> I love that so much. I love that so goddamn much. Also, no summon sign for serious. Scratch these fucking dead! Ready for fireballs? The battle? I'm sorry, are you ready for old men? The battle? The battle against the older generation. <laughs> ah, yes. Excuse me for a moment. I don't know why that, and I'm still dying cold in the middle or something. I don't know. Not another text. Uh, one more, I think. And then your boy will appear. Yep. Let's go and kill the blue guys, because they can heal the Pope. Ow. Oh my god. Oh, look at the damage! Look at just the absolute carnage, really. Wow. Man, playing this game in the Claymore is easy. For the moment. On fire lit. I do have a newfound appreciation for the Pope armor that. Alright. Let us go and make our way back to Firelink Shrine, no? Firelink Shrine! If some people saw my face while I'm making these Japanese things, it'd be. I can guarantee you it'd be something to behold. Right. But then you should get face game going, bruh. No. <laughs> too big of a hassle. Also, looking for a place to put your face cam is the most annoying thing ever. Unless if you have a green screen, then it's a lot easier. But since I don't have that, and I don't really think I'm ever gonna have that, yeah. <laughs> and uh, there we go! 15 faith! Cool, I leveled up, but I don't feel like I've gotten any stronger because of these useless fucking stats. Alright. I'm wondering how long it's going to take me before I'm like, oh. <laughs> Should have probably put some more points into my HP. <laughs> or my stamina. Uh, probably both. The interesting thing is, of course, that I'm going to be going into New Game Plus in this page, so I'm going to go at a higher level than I would normally go. Since I'm doing almost an entire run through uh, New Game Plus. If you're wondering, no, I will not go out of my way to grab any... Uh, any... What's it called? I'm not gonna go out of my way to grab any, like, optional things or whatever. At that point, I'm just gonna be bolting for the... For the Twin Princes. For, like, the Four uh, Lords of Cinder and the Twin Princes. Right, so I think normally if I oh, say, like, if I say to the game, I'm gonna open this door. And then I save and quit. I, normally, the door should be open and patches should be there. This is the per like I, w I wanted to test this out in the last playthrough, but I forgot about it. Well, right now I will do it, so I can see if it actually works. Come on, is the bridge up? Ah oh, shit! It's gonna bloody daddy. All right, it's gonna fucking kill you. Nope. <laughs> I've never fought- if you're wondering, I've never in my life fought patches before. I've never killed them before. Why? Because I quite like patches in a certain way. I can understand the hate that he gets in all that jazz because he's, he, he technically is an asshole. But, <laughs> technically, 
<laughs> he pretty much is an asshole. But at the same time, I like the character, so... Patches Ashes. Horse of Ring, which I also rarely get. And the entire Katarina armor, so I don't have to pay for the Katarina armor either. Do you see how handy this is if you kill him right now? Okay, I will do that from this point onward actually. Fuck Patches, I don't need him. Except if I actually need something from him. And with that I mean like if I need a certain drop, like a certain thing that you get if you continue doing his uh, quest line or whatever. I don't really think that there's any place where I'm gonna have to do that, but. Could be surprised. Unless if I want to go out of my way to grab all of the armors in the game. Which I don't really think I'm going to be doing. That's not a playthrough I'm going to be doing. Because there's nothing special about that one. Except just me doing all the side quests again. Uh... Well, this is an experience. Nice. Okay. If you're wondering, the horse of uh, the horse of ring over here boosts the kick effect, makes your kick stronger, which I think a lot of people can can uh, already notice before actually reading what it does. With it being called the horse of ring. It could be quite useful to get rid of shields if you if you need to get rid of them, but a lot of the weapons have like there's a lot of weapons that have ways to deal with that, and there's also some weapons which not which don't allow you to kick, which are the worst weapons. <laughs> well, no, not really. They're, they're not the worst weapons, but they are a little bit difficult to deal with, though. Gracious, passing fine ash thou hast given. And awfully warm at that. Almost as if it had lived mere moments ago. Oh, forgive an old woman's idle prate. I'm sure an ashen <laughs> <laughs> I like the fact that she's like, I know what you did, but I don't care about it. <laughs> Alright. Uh, so I can now buy these things. I can also buy rubbish. Which I wouldn't really know why but i can buy it <laughs> and also the black leather stuff which looks really good but it's not really the type of thing that i'm gonna go for in this picture i think uh no she needs armor plates so and yeah <laughs> six alluring skulls or an unlimited alluring skull <laughs> jeez this game. Alright, that's it, people. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Just It. I was playing Dark Souls 3, the weapon pages. And next episode, we're gonna go into uh, Fair and Keep again, and we're gonna go and deal with the Abyss Watchers. Goodbye.